It doesn't matter if we were doing a chicken breast, if you want to anything, it's the same thing. Flour, a little bit of salt in there, egg, and some breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs I use for stuff like that is panko. So you're probably familiar with the lovely, nice crumb on it, okay? Just try to find them there, have them toast them. You notice there's no oil in there, okay? That's very important. For something like nuts and that, we don't, we just want to toast them. And I always, if I'm toasting spices and that's like that, I always go less. It's very easy to burn those. So once you get a little bit of toasting on it, it will, it'll just give you that little bit more flavor. We don't want them burnt. If they're burnt, they're just not nice. Okay? Just give them a minute or two, it's just going to give them an extra little flavor. There's skins on them, I'm not too worried about that. If you want to remove the skins, the best way to do it is, once they're ready now, once they've come off the pan, get them between a clean cloth, rub them, the skins will fall off. And there we go. If I was to put oil on that, you'll find that it's just way too hot and it's too hard to uh, control as well. Now, back to this guy. So I've got my egg, right? All I'm gonna do is with some of my sausage meat is just flatten down. And ideally these men beforehand, it gives the, first of all, the meat a little bit of chance to relax and it keeps it in shape. So flatten this out, egg into the center. And what's really nice for a really fancy dinner party, if you're trying to really impress someone, is get some quail eggs and do this with quail eggs, but get the mince really chopped up fine. So you're really making everything nice and miniature instead. Whereas a Scotch egg, it almost looks like an ostrich egg at the end. Uh, just leave it out. Don't say anything, see what they say. <laughs> but for if you're doing a really fancy dinner party, same thing like with your quail eggs, they'll probably obviously will need a little bit less time. Um, I would probably cook them for probably about three minutes maximum. That's it. That's your Ideally, if you want to, you could have all of these made now, we could leave them in a tray and we could come back and pan them later on, right? Pan them into your tray there, loads of flour, right? Just off the excess flour. Okay, now, when you've got the pan in, you just need a dry hand. What I mean by that is, right, just don't... Keep this hand out of the equation, just throw that one in, get it all around, cover it, okay? And all you do now is, that hand is finished, get rid of that one, okay? And the reason for that is, if not, you're just gonna have lumps here. Right. Now, if you think there's never enough crumb, there is on that, but if you think there's not, go back to the egg and back to the breadcrumb again. That's called a double panic, right? All to cook the rest of that now, all I would do is, and we've done it, I have some here ready for you. And they're fine served cold, but they're perfect where they're just really going to do. You're having a nice picnic, or you're going out to the garden, or anything like that. Have them.